Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to a Hurley Investments small video or quick video on is stock trading gambling? I get this question a lot, usually from people that are disenfranchised or just downright angry at the stock market. It's usually because they've lost money. So let me go over really quickly is stock trading gambling and I'm going to offer you my opinion. When I look at investing or gambling i usually consider gambling referring to wagering money in an event that has an uncertain outcome and hopes of winning money that's my standard definition what i don't like about gambling is it involves a game of chance where the odds are usually stacked against the gambler it's a short-term event where you're trying to do the best you can to wager some money in hopes of winning more money, right? Now, obviously, you've always heard you should never hope in trading. So is there a difference? Is there a difference in investing versus gambling? Investing, and I'm going to give you guys the word speculation because I know everything is speculation. In investing or speculating, I'm going to tell you it involves a calculated risk and can you need to conduct due diligence before entering the investment? Investing requires a learning curve, a methodical and systematic way to invest that has a proven methodology that's proven by backtesting. Investing often has a positive expected return, even though the return might not happen in our desired time frame. So here's the differences, in my opinion, between investing and gambling. Some of you are going to tell me, well, gambling's a calculated risk and there's a learning curve, but it's still a game of chance. Whereas the difference between investing is you can do some due diligence to increase those odds into your favor. Sometimes those odds are called probabilities. And usually there's an expected profit on the stock you invest in or if you do something like options or futures or what have you, there's usually a profit in that position. But will it happen in our desired time frame? Whereas gambling, it's usually a one and done. Once the game's over, if you're betting on a game, a uh, poker hand, uh, roulette, whatever you like to gamble on, it's usually one and done. It's gone, it's over, you lose your money. Gambling is a game of chance. It's a high risk, high reward with that one time only. That event occurs and it's done. There's a low odds of winning. The odds are stacked against you. You actually, when you gamble, you expect to lose. It's funny, when I talk to most people, it's not how much you're going to win. It's, well, I just want to break even. Um, I just want to, you know, I hope I don't lose too much. In all reality, gambling is an emotional high. It's an emotional roller coaster. When you're gambling, you literally are, are all excited, yelling and screaming. Rarely do you see that in, in true investing. Doesn't mean you can't make investing gambling by day trading or by, by maybe doing option trades that have a time frame that expires on you. You're increasing your risks in gambling. You're doubling down, you're, you're, it's called dumping, where you start to dump more money to gain back your losses over and over again. Yes, you can do that investing, but it's a strategy in gambling. It's not prudent in investing. Um, again, some people gamble for the excitement or I call it social proofing. Oh, I went to Vegas. It's really your social status, something to brag about, right? I went to Vegas and only lost $100 after gambling all night. Uh, gambling is a must-win attitude. You have to win. You have to win or you lose, right? And again, as I mentioned probably a dozen times now, it's time sensitive. Differences in stock investing, before you invest, you should be doing fundamental analysis, technical analysis, sentimental analysis, and knowing what economic events are coming up. If you're not doing this prior to your investing, you're gambling in the stock market. More importantly with stock investing though, or 
I'm going to say investing in general. The neat thing with stock is you usually have an unlimited time frame for profitability. You might have to wait a hell of a long time for stocks to come back. But you have an unlimited runway. Most stocks are profitable over some certain time period. Not saying all of them, but that goes down to my second point here. Good traders take many losses, but they win more than they lose. It comes down to opportunity cost. To think you're not going to lose in trading is ridiculous. And really the key is you could be a 96% winner and still lose overall. So it's not that you win more than you lose, but that your winners make more than your losers. Now you could stay in your losers and wait for them to come back. But again, as I mentioned, that's opportunity cost value, right? What's the opportunity cost of selling out and maybe finding something else that's, that could be more profitable for you. And obviously as you invest, you should have a method that keep your losses small. Whether that's going to be stop losses, whether that's going to be using an option as insurance on your stock. There, there are a lot of things you could do. You could do arbitrage, you could do hedging. There's quite a bit that you can do to limit those losses. Whereas when you bet a hundred bucks on a poker hand, you could run that up to a thousand and or if you bet a hundred bucks on a on a sports event, that hundred bucks is out there. You really can't hedge your loss or get out of your your trade and or your bet. Question is, do you gamble or do you trade? And there are a couple of questions for you that you can ask yourself to find out if you're gambling or if you're trading or investing for that matter. Look at the reasons why you're trying to make money. When I say reasons, most people will tell me, well, I'm trying to make money for retirement. Well, if you're trying to make money for retirement, why are you day trading? If your retirement's 10 years out in time, you should have a 10-year time horizon to be making your, your, your decisions on. What reasons are you trying to make your money? Key question. Are you prepared to be gone through the learning curve? Well, there's learning curves on, on gambling and, you know, there's poker pros that show you what they do, blah, 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 blah. That's true. So if you haven't gone through a learning curve in gambling, or more importantly, if you haven't gone through a learning curve, taken an education, not just listen to it, but paper trade it, proving your methodology, are you gambling or are you trading? Have you back tested your methodology? An investor can say, well, looking at the S&P 500, you know, average rate of return 7.75. They'll find out they'll never make 7.75 because that's just an average, not a gain on the stock market. But have you back tested your methodology? Do you have proof that what you're going to do works? And more importantly, can you stick to the results of your back testing? even when your methodology might not be working as well as you expect. You have a must-win attitude. I'm an athletic guy. I hate losing. <laughs> losing bugs the crap out of me. But there are times that I'm going to lose in investing or in trading. I understand that. I've got to limit those losses. If you must win every time, more often than not, you're gambling, you're not investing, or you're not being realistic with the expectations of the returns you're going to make. Does your time frame allow the investments to become profitable? Really, the most important one in my idea, are you calculating your risks and are you doing so correctly? Uh, what do I mean by that? Uh, I love using options to hedge my risk on stock ownership. Some people go straight options. And they think their risk is that initial investment, but they're going to dollar cost average two, three, four times. It's interesting when you say, oh my gosh, how did I lose 20 grand on a $2,500 investment? Well, if you keep dollar cost averaging into losers, you keep increasing your risk, that's how you lose the money. So are you have a methodology, are you calculating your risk correctly? Which means if you're expecting the dollar cost average, set aside a dollar amount to do so. 
you're going to take a $2,500 risk, maybe your initial investment's only 1000 If you want to invest at $2,500, have another $2,500 set aside to dollar cost average that position down the road. You've got to calculate your risks accordingly. Guys, if there are any questions or if you like this video, push like on the, the button down below. If you want to talk more about it, toll-free number to reach me, 888-287-1030. You're always welcome to visit our website at hurleyinvestments.com or you can go to My Hurley Investment. My Hurley Investment, singular there, .com. Or you can always send an email to support at hurleyinvestments.com and we do the best we can to answer any or all of your questions. I hope this was helpful looking at if you're gambling or investing in the stock market, gambling versus trading in the stock market. Are you gambling or just speculating in the stock market? You got to know what you're doing before you get into it. Guys, appreciate being with you. Look forward to uh, presenting another video to you in the near future. Bye-bye.